as you can see I already have my LED installed in here uh, all you need is a little small um, screwdriver a flathead uh, you could use a um, like a trim remover if you're scared of damaging your your um plastic right here around the around the plastic piece but basically all you do is you put it in between the plastic and this other little trim piece around it and you just pull down you do the same thing on this side pull down and it'll just fall down these are mounted um sideways the clips are in the inside the where, where it goes in so basically you do is pull it out this way and um it'll come out so when you turn it off so it's a little hot right now so i don't want to touch it but basically you put it in the same way as the other ones but it goes in to the side So this is your um the normal bulb that would go would go in there. So I'll put that back in just to see so you guys can see how it looks. And it goes in sideways the same way. You just push it in. As you can see it's a more of a yellow orange glow that it gives. Alright. So the same way, the same way you put in the other one is you put in your new LED. This one's a little hot, so so just make sure it's working. When you're done, you um grab your your little plastic piece, you put it in one side, and you just pop the other sides in, and you're done. You leave it in the middle so it works with your doors. All right, so um, let's go on to the front so we can switch those. As you can see, my front ones are also on already. Uh, so to remove these is basically the same as the back ones. You use your screwdriver or your trim remover and you put it in and it pops out. So these are actually mounted um, up and down, so you can pull it out like the other ones. Um, I'm not gonna pull this one out since you've already had a few examples of how it looks. So you will pull it out, pull out your old bulb and put in your new um, LED. And then to put your plastic piece back in, you just pop it in to also, so. There you go. Uh, once you have it installed, um, you could set it up so it could work with your doors. I don't know, I think it looks a lot better like this. Um, I just don't like how you can see the individual LED, so. Since um I got these cheap eBay ones, I know I know they're they're good. I like how it looks. Um, I'll be getting uh those more um square LED ones later on once these blow out. Um, they blow out faster already because I had them installed first um on my trunk the, the license plate, and as you as you saw they get pretty rusty. So um one of them had already stopped working. So once these go out, I'll get um a little bit nicer ones. I'll check online and see um, who makes uh, good LEDs for interior for, for this particular car. So, I mean, there you go. If you guys like these type of videos, these how-to videos, uh, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Um, I'll be you know, uploading more videos of anything that I do to this um, Civic Si. So, uh, subscribe and comment um, on any ideas of what should I do to the car next. And uh, you guys can enjoy the footage of how it looks at night. Thanks. Alright, so for the interior, this is what you'll see when it's dark. This is the front. You see they're really bright, really lines up. You can see everything on the inside. And here's a look at the back. Since on the back there's only a one light, it's not as bright as the front, but still gives a lot of good light. A lot better than the yellow the yellow ones that I had before.